It was a peaceful day. In the bank, everything was calm, where the cashier had just opened the vault. But suddenly, Big Bad Bill bursts into the room! Ah, this is kid stuff. I've got an escape tunnel to dig. Who's with me? What a pity, Joe. Reading opens the doors of the mind. It's a window to freedom, the ultimate form of escape. Open door? Window to freedom? Escape? Yeah. <laughs> So look at that. The prisoners are finally being educated. What are you doing? What does it look like? I'm digging, Joe. Miss Betty said that we could escape using these books. You imbecile. She didn't mean you could escape by digging with the book. You escaped by reading the book. OK, get to work, everybody. Uh, ounce, what went up? Sea Sally Cell, seashells, five the scores and seven years ago. Well, are we out yet? No, not yet. Keep reading. Peter Piper, Bitch, Bedroom. How about now? We're still here, Joe. Wake up! I found it! The ultimate escape plan! Yeah. We'll do just like the Count of Monte Cristo did! Die! <laughs> Mr. Peabody, sorry! Let me guess. The Daltons tried to escape again. No worse! They're all dead. It looks like it's the end of their education. Yes, oh, sweet! A game of statues! All right, I'm in! Dinner time! Come and get it! <laughs> yeah, out of my way! He moved, he's out. Yeah. Mr. Peabody, <laughs> sir! The Daltons, I presume. Sweet! Second round! Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really can't help myself. I didn't mean to. We all have our weaknesses, Joe. I win again. Mr. Peabody, sir! All right, that's it. This time we'll know for sure with the use of science. Joe, out. Jack, you too. William, out. Fooey. The Count of Monte Cristo never had to face science. Huh? Mm. Mm. I'm afraid I have bad news for you. Your brother has passed away. Mm. My back hurts time out. Me know how to tenderize muscles. Ah, there's nothing better than a massage after playing hard. Dinner time! Get out of my way! Hold it right there! You know what, Avril? This is really the first time your lack of brain activity has really come in handy. So from now on, you're dead. 
dead, but I thought I was just starving. You fool, you're not really dead. All right, but I'm really hungry. We need to get to work. No, 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 I need to eat. No, you fool, you can eat after you're dead. First thing you do, you write your will, stating your wishes to be buried in the desert by your brothers. And once we get out, we're gone. Whoosh. So, Avril, the one with the biggest appetite has finally left us. But the good news is there will be more for the rest of us. Enough with the sentiment. Guard, open the doors! Joe, wait. In his last will and testament, Avril asked that his final exit would be by the way of the escape hole, the one he could never get through. That's a good idea, huh? Mm. For the left, left. Yeah. It doesn't fit, Joe. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, it does. Okay. It has got to fit. I'm going to pull from the other side, and you push. All right, let's go. Now, watch out, you <laughs> Let's try sideways. I've only did it way so much. Hey, wait, guys, I think it'll be easier with all four of us. You moron. You really are a genius, aren't you? Yeah, all this reading's really helping. Helping who, Avril the Warden? You were smarter when you were dead! Hey, is the game over now?